birds that are nesting directly over your head. Don't look with your mouth open, they're sharpshooters. They're called yellow crested night herons, and their favorite food tends to be crayfish. Uh, the wild wildlife you'll see out here, well, you have ducks and egrets and ducks, turtles, ducks, possums, ducks, raccoons, ducks, snakes, ducks, bats, that's one goose, and more ducks. They do pretty well out here since people say the people. And for us boat captains, boy, we sure do love them. A little orange glaze on top, potatoes on the side, well, absolutely delicious. <laughs> All right, folks, please mind your head underneath this bridge. i got to make sure everybody passes the height requirement. If you do not hear a certain thump, that means you fail. Now, this bridge is actually called Besa, which in Spanish means dam or barricade. Back in the 1700s, there used to be a dam straight across there. These are divert water to Mission Concepcion. Yeah, you know, for the right, when this gentleman's on the phone, he's on Marriage Island. We only have about one wedding a day here. What kind of makes it unique is the root system of the cypress tree forms it. And it's very good luck to get married on that island. I should know. I've been married there myself. Three times. <laughs> now, with the middle sculpture that's on the island, well, that's called Father Mazanet's Table. I was there to celebrate the very first Catholic Mass on the river a long time ago. I was back on June 13th. 1691. Now, the feast day of San Antonio. Well, the Spanish settlers and the French priests of the Father Mazanet, well, they christened the river of San Antonio River, later on the city adopted this name back in 1718. That's the village back there. Now we're passing through the old mills crossing. Now, back in the 1800s, wagons used to pass through this portion of the river. It was extremely shallow and hard path. The settlers used to come right through here with their wagons and grain off the Nat Lewis Mill. Teddy Roosevelt and his Rough Riders used to pass through this area quite often. 